DNRS saved my life. Of course, I went to my doctor, had the x-rays, and I had small amounts of pneumonias, um, did antibiotics, um, and um, couldn't get a diagnosis because we didn't even really know COVID was here at the time. Um, I got it in, in January, and it took me two months to recover. Um, but uh, by, so that was, I recovered sort of towards the end of February, but by May, I had lost 45 pounds and was in this kind of acute state uh, that nobody, you know, nobody knew what it was. Nobody knew the term COVID long hauler back then. I got diagnosed with mast cell activation, SIBO. Um, I had asthma, so I was having a lot of trouble breathing. Um, I had profound cognitive deficits um, and um, it took every bit of my concentration to be able to um, figure out my medical, you know, just making doctor appointments, filling out forms. Sometimes it would take all day to like fill in all those little boxes and I would be confused. And so that reactivity that I talk about is when I was um, having a reaction to something I would eat, um, like a supplement or a food. And so over the course of many months, um, I became more and more reactive. And the reactivity included things like these weird smells and just a host of symptoms full body, everything from burning eyes, burning skin, um, gut related toilet business hours and hours at a time. Um, I was nauseous all the time. So I started uh, shopping, doctor shopping and met with uh, several, everyone from GI specialists to a naturopath, other functional medicine doctors. And fortunately, um, three of the other doctors that I sought out all, all said brain training, do the brain training, DNRS. So the science really, the science really did it for me. That was really where I hooked in um, because the, the science made so much sense and it made felt sense as well as intellectual sense because I knew when, I, when it was explained to me about that super highway where the, the mind cannot get off that loop, I immediately understood that as true for me. Um, and I so wanted an expanded life beyond this constant threat uh, that I was living with. So the first um, huge wave of relief came from recognizing that I'm not alone and that here are all these people who've been going through this the way that I have and to see their smiling faces and to see their, hear them tell their stories. And even though their symptoms were different to recognize, oh my God, that is me. My first wave of relief came from being able to sleep. I hadn't been able to sleep more than an hour or two a night um, before DNRS. And literally my first night of DNRS practice, I slept for five, six hours. Yeah. Yeah. And um, every, almost every night, during these whole five months, I've been able to sleep five to seven hours a night. You know, just today I was taking a walk. I'm walking now at two hours a day. Yep. And I was not taking walks before DNRS. I feel a very clear sense of hormone regulation and calming of the hormones. Until DNRS, I weighed about 90 pounds. Um, and now I'm at 110. If there's only a third of people who are getting better, I, I would bet my entire world the, and the farm 
to say that I'm in that third because of doing five months of brain training. <laughs>